After more than a year of construction work and at a cost of £1.4 million, Europe's first artificial surf reef is finally ready for use. And with the world's three other artificial surf reefs located in New Zealand and Australia, this is sure to be a big hit among some of Europe's biggest surfers. I've come down to Boscombe in Dorset to see the surf reef in action. Situated 220 metres offshore, 55 giant sandbags, each weighing 1,500 tonnes, have been carefully placed on the seabed in order to create the reef. Unlike a swimming pool wave machine, the reef doesn't actually create waves. It simply acts as a ramp to increase the size of existing waves. It also helps to make them a better quality for surfing on. On a good day, the waves here should now reach a grade 5 which is a challenging wave. However, if you compare that to somewhere like Hawaii, which is regularly producing grade eight waves, you can see the surf here still has a lot to live up to. Opinions of the reef seem to be positive. However, not everyone has been left impressed. Well, it's, it's not very good today, but I've had like a couple of good days so far. Um, you know, it's, I don't, it's not as good as I was expecting, but you know, it's all right. It yeah, everyone's coming to visit it. We've seen, especially with bo boogie boarders, body boarders who lie down on the board rather than stand up, it's a particularly good shaped wave for them on the reef. So we've had lots and lots of them coming down and all kinds of surfers, all kinds of water users, I would say, actually. You can definitely tell it's man-made, obviously, by the way. It's, it's like a reef break, like a big rock out to sea that pushes up a wave. It's the same sort of concept as that. But um, I think, because they've only just finished it, it needs time to settle. At the moment, they've, they've made it at an angle and it needs to just nature to sculpt it a little bit. And um, I think then it will start producing what they're after. This is certainly a surfing resort with a lot of potential. And if the reef produces the waves that are predicted, then this could soon be one of the best places to surf in Britain.